Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize the appearance of your VBA editor. That's this thing here. We write all of your VBA source code. Now, this is going to be a developer level video for the VBA people. So if you don't know VBA and you want to learn, go watch this video. It'll teach you everything you need to know in about 20 minutes and then come on back. Okay, so in the VBA editor, let's go into here. Let's go into any one of my buttons. Go to build event. That's going to bring this guy up. All right, you're probably familiar with it. You probably used it a lot if you've been doing any programming for a while. Now, if you're like me and your eyesight's not that great, you might want to change this to something with bigger text, maybe easier on the eyes. I personally like dark mode myself where the, the background is black and the foreground is colored. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and we're going to go through the different options and I'm actually going to use this for my video workstation because I do a lot with this, both for my personal projects and for recording with you guys. And I'm going to leave my system set to a, a dark mode. Now, unfortunately, once you set it up, it's per machine. You can't do it per database. Um, that'd be nice to have in access. Maybe Sammy add that to the list, right? We're keeping a list for stuff to suggest to Microsoft, but it'd be nice if this was per database. But it's not. So let's go to tools and then options. And there's lots of different options in here. I cover most of these in my developer courses. But we're just going to go to editor format for now. All right, editor format. Now, over here, you got a bunch of different things. Normal text, selection text. I'll talk about some of these in a bit. Some of these I never use. But now for the normal text. Now, over here, you got to pick your font. I personally like sticking with a mono spaced font for my programming. Uh, mono space is where each letter takes up the same amount of space. So an I takes up as much as a W. And I just think for programming, it just makes sense. Uh, it, it, some things, you know, the number of columns represent a certain width on the screen, that kind of stuff. Plus, I've, I've been doing it that way since I was a kid. So you can change the font if you want to something else. I like Curry or New. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go up to 14 point. All right, you can see there's a, a sample of it there. I wish there was an apply button down here, but there isn't an apply button. Now over here, I'm gonna say I want the foreground to be white and I want the background to be black, all right? And not everything has an indicator. You'll see what ind indicators are in just a minute. But if I hit okay now, there you go, all right? Most of the background turned black. Some of these things didn't. We'll talk about those in a second. All right, so we're on our way. All right, back end, tools, options, editor format. All right, what's selection text? Selection text is text that you've selected, okay? And I think I'm going to leave that just as it is. That's fine. All right, let's go to the next one. Syntax error text. This is when you get a syntax error, you know, something you type in that's not correct. I'm going to leave the foreground as red is fine, but I'm going to make the background. Let's make the background. No, well, we could we could leave it auto. You can go white too. Auto it, it bases it based on the background. I kind of I kind of want that to be white. I want to I want syntax errors to really show up. So we'll leave that like that. That's fine. All right, execution point text. Now this is when you have an error and the, the debugger stops your code and it highlights a line. All right, so again, yellow is fine for that. All right, breakpoint text. This is when you set a breakpoint in your code. All right, let me show you. A breakpoint, and I've covered this before, is when you click over here. So now when this code is running, when it hits this line, it'll stop. So you can analyze variables or look and see what's going on. That's a breakpoint. And this thing over here is the breakpoint indicator. Okay, so tools, options, back in here. All right, I think that's fine. Make it look red like that, that's good. All right, comment text, that's when you set comments. I like this, but I'm gonna go with a bright green, keep them green, and I'm gonna make the background black like that. That looks better. Let's hit okay. And do I have any comments in here? I don't think I do, but, all right. This is a comment and it goes green. Okay, that, that looks good. All right, the next thing is keyword text. These things are all keywords, things that you shouldn't use like private, sub, end. Those, all those words are keywords. So let's go back into here, options. Keyword text is next. Let's make keywords appear bright blue and then background black. Hit okay, and now that's what that looks like. That looks good, right? Those are all keywords. Words you definitely should not use as your own variable or field name, okay? 
I had a student once who was using private. He had private and public, and they were there were yes/no fields, check boxes in his uh, in his table. And everything worked fine until he got to developing. And when he started writing code, it yelled, started yelling him with the word private. Next up are identifiers, tools, options. We've got identifiers. Where are you? There you are. Identifier text. We're going to make these gray. So let's go foreground, light gray, background, black, like that. There's all your identifiers, your commands, right? The names of your functions and subs. Those are all identifiers. All right, and the next two things on the list, I almost never use, whoop, what did I do? Not digital signal, tools, option. Uh, the next two things I almost never use, bookmarks. Yes, you can have bookmarks in your, uh, in your code where you can jump between different locations for places that you commonly program. I actually have a video on bookmarks coming up soon. I'm gonna teach you about those later. For now, I like this, but let's make it, uh, let's go with the bright blue like this. Let's do that. That'll be our bookmark text. And the last thing I really never use, and this is called call returns. Uh, long story about these. It basically lets you track where you are in the call stack. It's a more advanced thing, so you can see what, like with recursion, you can see where you are. It's, it's, it, don't worry about it. Again, I got another video coming up on this eventually. It's, again, in 30 years, I think I've used this once. So don't worry about it. But I am going to set colors for it. Let's make the background like that. All right, hit OK. And there you go. This is a whole lot easier on the eyes, I think. And I'm going to stick with this for all of my new videos coming up too, because it's just, it's just a whole lot easier than looking at what it was before. This is just, this is rough too. Sometimes I just close this. I don't even use that half the time. Okay. All right. So there you go. That's a nice, simple one for today. Nothing crazy. And honestly, I know most of you probably know how to do this. If you're programming in VBA, these aren't hard options to figure out. But I also wanted to do a video on it because I'm going to be using these colors in the future. And I know people are going to ask, ooh, how'd you set up your VBA editor to look like that? Well, go watch this video. <laughs> okay. So that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video 
that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.